Hi guys, welcome to MCQs of CA Final SCMP. We are doing chapter number six, strategic revenue management. Advise you all to be joining our Telegram channel for this paper that will give you all the updates that are required. Plus, our full course is now available with two years uh, validity and unlimited views. Okay, let's start it off. So the question is, cafe coffee hub. I'll call it as CCH. Better for me. Offers a feature of writing the name of the customer on the takeaway glass down under the logo of CCH. The size of the logo of CCH on the glass is which type of attribute? Referring to the Cano model. Now, Cano model is what we'll see here. So, what are the four options that are there? Four options are reversal, B, delighter, C in this case is performance, and uh, D in this case is indifferent. Now, the question is something like this, like, you know, that if you buy a coffee from CCH, okay, you do a takeaway. So, you're going to be getting the coffee in the glass, below the glass, or on the side of the glass or something, okay, your personalized name will be written. Now, that is which kind of attribute? Try to be thinking, try to be thinking, comment below. If you'll have done this chapter, then you will surely know the answer. In case you'll have not done, then try to be thinking that does the size of the logo of CCH matters to you? Think it off like that and accordingly try to answer. Actually, I'll start it off. Now see, first of all, Cano, mod uh, Cano model is actually what? Now this was a model that was made by Professor Cano in the year 1980. It basically tells you, uh, 1980 was also the year when I was born here. Chalo, now, uh, this model actually tells you that what attributes a customer values, what he does not value what he is indifferent to, what like, you know, he should be having in a product in order to be buying a product. Okay. So there were five attributes that uh, Professor Cano tried to identify, which are these five ones. I'm giving you all five examples. First, these are must haves or dissatisfiers. Must have mean this is something that is a basic necessity of a consumer. He is basically buying the product or the service because of this thing. If this thing is not there, it will dissatisfy. He might not buy your product or service. I've given two examples over here. Uh, first one in this case is punctuality of the airlines. Okay. Obviously, it matters to consumers a lot. I would not like to fly by that airline, which is always late. Yeah, that is something like, you know, not done. We are paying such a heavy price for it. So therefore, obviously, I'll want that. Second, say that if I'm going in a restaurant, okay, a good restaurant, say a fine dining or something, they should have good clean kitchen. Okay. This is must have. If these things are not there, it'll be a dis, uh, it'll dissatisfy me as a consumer. And obviously, I might not buy their product or service again. This is first one. Second one, core requirements or satisfiers or performers. Okay. Now, core requirements or satisfiers or performers, let me call this thing as performers only. Now, these things are something like, you know, that should be there in a product. Okay. We are buying the product for this thing. And these contribute a lot to my decisions. Example, Zomato. Zomato in this case is uh, one of the things that those guys provide is like, you know, we'll deliver you the parcel, say within 30 minutes. Okay. Now, this is something that satisfies my needs. This is something like, you know, that why I'm ordering from Zomato because I want to be delivering the things on time. One more example that I've put is say battery life. Okay. Whenever I buy a certain product, okay, say a mobile phone, there is some basic requirement that I have. Okay. And that in case of phones, like this, whatever I think, like, you know, I always want a phone, at least that will last for one day. Yaar. So therefore, battery life does matter. For many people, it could be that so prices should be affordable. These are the core requirements or the satisfiers. Now, one sec. One was what? Dissatisfiers. If these things are not there, they will dissatisfy you. This thing will satisfy you. Okay, this is the second one. Third one under the canvas model is exciters or delighters. Now, if these things are not there, it's not that you will not buy the product. But if these things are there, no, you'll be happier. Example, once I had gone uh, to USA to meet my brother. In the plane, it's a long journey. It's around a 14-hour journey, a non-stop uh, non flight. But then there was internet in that. Okay, so therefore, like, you know, I could watch the movie of my choice. That, even if it was not there, I'll still be going here. I'll still be using that airlines, to be honest. But that is something like, you know, that makes me happy. So next time, whenever I'm going to be going to US, I prefer to take that particular flight, which gives me this. Okay. 
Apart from that, one more example that I have put these days, whenever you go to a petrol station, no, you might get like you know a facility whereby your glass, your windshield will be uh, washed free of cost. Okay, so if that feature is there, I feel happy. Yar, I went to fill up the petrol, but then I got the gla glass also clean. So therefore, these are exciters or delighters. Fourth one, indifferent. You all see a uh, iPhone back over there. Okay, you see the logo of Apple. Whether it is this size or this size, what really does it matter to me? Okay, it hardly matters. So therefore, I am indifferent to such things. Uh, same thing had happened to me. Like you know that whenever we used to uh, publish our books, I used to be putting my logo behind the books. Okay, but then it hardly matters to a student. Like you know what size the logo is. Fifth one, reverse. Now reverse is like. Uh, if these features are there it will dissatisfy a customer these are reverse things these things should not be there if they are there they will dissatisfy you i'll tell you a small example i get my car serviced from some maruti service center or something then once i get it serviced no for next 15 days every day those guys will call me sir give us a feedback give us a feedback give ultimately i tell them you all are pathetic even if they were good okay but you cannot ask me for a feedback on a daily basis one more example that you all see just now on your screen and that is pop up ads so whenever you download a app okay if it is free you will be keeping on seeing ads there ads there your youtube is full of ads only now so therefore these things dissatisfy in fact if these things are there sometimes you might not buy the product as such okay so let's go over to the example that we all had this was the example that we all had okay i think the size of the logo of cch does not matter to me at all i am here to drink my coffee in fact if my name is big or small it might still matter i might preserve that glass but what does it matter that what is the size of the logo of that company which is making that coffee yaar so my answer in this case should be d d should be indifferent d is the correct answer okay so do remember this cano model it is one thing that is used a lot by the companies in order to be thinking which feature should be there which features should not be there which features excite a customer which features do not matter to a customer it helps you to make your product far better for the future okay that's it so the answer is indifferent i'll see you all next time bye